Good morning, everybody. This is Andy Romero with my take five. Today, I want to talk about what can we expect moving forward from the Dolphins defense, specifically the Dolphins secondary, after the unfortunate news that came in about Jalen Ramsey's um, meniscus injury. Good news that we have so far is that he has passed the surgery with no complications. Everything went as planned. They're predicting around December he might come back. Now we don't know if that's December 1st or 31st. All we do know is that he'll be back for the playoffs. And that's kind of what I want to talk about now because this team, the way it's been built, the way the, the front office has been attacking this offseason, it's built for a Super Bowl run. They've pretty much pushed in all the chips to the table. They're going all in. They want to do a one, two year push with Tua's current contract before he becomes expensive. You know, a la what the Seahawks did with Russell Wilson and many other examples that we can count. What can we expect, however, from this defense now that it lost seemingly the best player on defense, the best player in the secondary and the best corner in the league, even though he hasn't played a snap for us yet. We all know he's the best. We saw last year how X was struggling throughout the year, mainly because of an injury that he was playing through. You know, a lot of people like to to talk smack about X, to talk bad about him, but we have to understand that he was being a warrior all season and playing through that injury for the better of the team and for the better of his teammates. Sometimes we didn't like the performance, what we saw on the field, but we have to be humane as well and understand what's going on. The good thing is that we saw a huge jump from Cater Kahu, who unexpectedly, no one expected to become the player he has become, and he has a chance this year to to really put himself in that in that top conversation for corners, you know, top thirty corners in the league. The way he performed. This injury gives an opportunity for him. It gives an opportunity for X to prove again that he can be a number one lockdown when he's healthy, which I believe he still can. I have great memories, we all should, of him winning games, sealing games with his interception, with his playmaking ability. We're going to have a chance now also for second round pick Cam Smith to really prove that he was worthy of that selection. A lot of people say there wasn't really a need to to draft him. We had a, a great cornerback core, our top three at the time, Kahu, Jalen, and X. You know, why would you draft a corner? But you're thinking for the future and you're thinking for depth. Positions like cornerback and positions like receiver, there's injuries all year long. Those guys are running 20 miles a game, something like that. So you know, injuries are inevitable. So what can we expect from this defense? I think we can expect a top 10 performance even without Ramsey. Because I don't think the drop off from a healthy Ramsey to a healthy Xavier Howard motivated this offseason, it shouldn't be too drastic. There will be a drop off, obviously, in skill. But it's not going to be, you know, from number one corner to number 100. It might be from number one to number 10, number one to number seven. We've seen what Kahu can do. We're going to see what Sam, what Cam can do. Hopefully, he's not another Noah, even though Noah came up big for us last year in a couple select spots. Um, and Noah himself will have a chance to redeem himself as well. So, I think this defense still has potential, especially with Banjo running things. I think the secondary is still get up. It's still going to be able to hold up. And the great thing is now. When Jalen does come back, let's say final time for the playoffs, the offenses aren't going to be really be prepared to see what Vic has cooked up. This whole offseason, he said how excited he is about everything he has, he has cooked in the lab. We're going to see it realistically. We're going to see it in the playoffs for the first time. And so are our opponents going to see it for the first time. Fully meshed together, done with two lockdown corners. Jaden X. We should all be excited for this season. We should all be very excited for the Super Bowl push. And I think the team and Jaden did the right thing 
going with surgery now and not trying to play through an injury that could have really been catastrophic mid-season. So let's see what's going on and thank you for watching.